Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Ash, and I'm back with another video. 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 So, you guys loved my top things that I dislike and like about living in LA. I figured. You know, why don't I make a video about how to actually make it in LA? People have hit me up over the years that I've lived in LA asking me, you know, what it takes to move to LA, how did I do it, what things that I do to prepare, um, and just overall, how am I maintaining and making it in LA for the last three and a half years? So I figured I'd make this video um, and hopefully that it'll help you and you can share it with a friend that maybe they're thinking about moving to LA and maybe it's not LA, it doesn't have to be LA. This goes for anybody who is looking to move to a new city who wants to leave their hometown and move, whether it be 300 miles away or 3000 miles away or to even to a new country. I believe that these things will help you be successful. So if you're interested in learning what it takes to be able to move and make it in LA, stay tuned for the rest of this video. Because every time my mind starts wandering, I just get lost in love. And every time you bring me back down to earth, you don't me. If you're thinking about moving to LA, then there's a few things you should know. I've been here three and a half years. I've seen people come, I've seen people leave. I've seen people put the plan in place, never make it here. So what did I do? Honestly, I didn't do much. <laughs> I'll get. I'll give you guys a little bit of backstory about how I ended up in LA, and then we can go from there, right? So when I was younger, I always wanted to move to California. I tweeted years ago, like over ten years ago, that I would live in California. So that was the first thing I felt like. I didn't really even notice it at the time, but I had spoke that into existence and you know with partnership with god i really feel like overall that is the main reason how i actually ended up in la because it was something that i put out into the universe that i prayed for that i wanted and that i you know like i said with help with god manifested that um so first thing i would say is that you have to believe you just have to believe uh, some things you're not always going to have it figured out you're not always going to know how it's going to work but if it's something that you want to do, just start by believing. Just write it down. If it's through a vision board, it's if it's through a journaling, just write it down. In the Bible, there's a scripture that says, write the vision and make it plain. And I don't believe that anything in the Bible is put there just for coincidence. And I believe that when you want something, if you write it down, you are letting God know that you're serious about that. And he can help you, give you the tools to help you bring that to life. So some things that i feel like i see consistently in people that i meet out here that you know have some some sort of success staying in la is that first of all they have courage it takes a lot of courage to leave your comfort zone to leave your hometown to move across the country into a place that you've never been essentially or you've never spent an extended amount of time and leaving everything that you're used to behind to start new it's essentially you starting new whether no matter how you put it unless you've been coming back and forth to la for years and you've already you know created some type of like bonds and you have you know people here already I, I knew very few people i knew probably three people when i moved here max i cried the night before i left my mom cried we cried like it was getting on the plane the day i was moving was literally the scariest thing that i had ever done it's like all right like i have a one way i'm not going back even though now like in hindsight i think about it, it's like i could have went back whenever you know it like it takes nothing to get a flight to go home but at the same time during that time i'm like all right i have this job like you know what if what if my job falls through what if they don't like me here what if i i get fired like then what am i going to do for work um am i gonna because i didn't have a permanent place to live am i going to find a place in time like so there was just so many different fears going through my mind and like i just was like you know what if this doesn't work out you know that's what courage is that's what faith is you you take that step and you just see what's gonna happen the next thing is you have to be okay with getting uncomfortable and sacrificing when you are similar to me and you move to a new city across the country where you don't really have a support system necessarily you have people that you can call in an emergency but like it's not like oh i'm calling my aunt and i'm going over there it's a different type of you know support system out here at this point you really have to be all in you have to be able to 
do whatever it takes to make sure that your well-being is taken care of, especially if you're not in a situation where you can call home and ask your parents to wire you money because, you know, if you're completely out here and you're your financial support, then you have to do what it takes to make sure that your well-being is taken care of. So when I first moved here, I actually moved into a very nice apartment, but I ended up having four roommates. This apartment was brand new. It was so nice. But because I wasn't sure financially what things were going to look like, I was willing to make a sacrifice and be uncomfortable. One, because I was pressed for time. Okay, I moved. I literally had about three weeks to find a place to live, a permanent place to live. Secondly, I wanted to like I didn't really know what money was going to look like because, yes, I was working there and my salary and everything did transfer. But taxes are different in California compared to New York and Jersey like everything's just a little different so I wasn't sure so I wanted to make sure that I had something affordable and I didn't have savings okay so it wasn't like I had cushion I moved here expecting to be paid a check literally I think that weekend I moved on like a Friday and I was expecting to be paid on that Saturday so I literally probably had a few hundred dollars in my account nothing crazy that I could actually live off of for long term it was so uncomfortable my first living experience in LA was so uncomfortable but if I had given up in that moment of uncomfortability then I would be home legit because I considered it I considered that after seven months of living in LA I was like nah this ain't for me I'm going home <laughs> you're going to whether if it's your living situation whether if it's just adjusting to a new work environment whatever you're going to have to go through a period of uncomfortability whatever that looks like for you 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 are um so you're just going to have to embrace that and that's all throughout life in different stages like anytime you really start something new you have to know how to adapt and you have to be willing to go through a period of uncomfortability because it's new it's it's something that you haven't experienced before so it's going to be a little uncomfortable you're going to have to have you know you're just going to have to adjust you should just have in your mind that things are not just going to be easy flowing and that and that you're going to have to be willing to endure some sacrifice sacrifice of lifestyle sacrifice of friendships sacrifice of relation any type of relationships sacrifice of comfortability sacrifice of just you know things being how it used to be because you're just you're just gonna have to adjust along with um this being an oversaturated market you got to be willing to hustle out here if you're coming for the arts just know you're gonna have to hustle this is an expensive city unless you're living in a dump or you're living with six other people you're gonna pay a decent amount of money and if any of you that are in the arts are pursuing a, per a career in the arts you know that it does not pay first and foremost immediately in the beginning and it's not gonna pay what you're worth you gotta be willing to hustle you gotta be willing to do work some gigs you might not want to work i'm not saying compromise your ethics or your morals or your your worth or your value you might have to do a temp job you might have to you know do some low paying gigs you might have to work in retail like i've known people who come from corporate and they move out here and they have to get a job in retail which seems backwards for somebody like us who who we have degree and then you know we've decided to chase this life in entertainment or arts and we have to it kind of seems like we're taking a step back i meet people all the time and they're surprised they're like oh you have a degree because i'm not working in that traditional corporate setting because of some of the gigs that i'm working it's like you know you're you're putting you're doing this and you could be you know working there you can't care what people are going to think you can't feel like you're too big or too proud to work certain gigs because there's a lot of people who get out here and they too proud to work a retail job for a limited for a shorter period of time or whatever and then they end up back where they came from do what it takes like do what you need to do to you know keep yourself afloat keep a roof over your head and and also create time to work on your dreams so if you come here and you don't really know people then you definitely need to have some sort of people skills this city is all about who you know you can't just come here and think that you know people are just gonna you know gravitate you because you're the best looking you're beautiful you're drop dead gorgeous or you're this you're that because that doesn't matter out here everybody's beautiful everybody is smart everybody is talented everybody can sing everybody can rap not everybody i'm being dramatic but probably compared to your hometown where you come from 
there's a lot of talent here. Like once you meet like some people, like you'll hang with them and then, you know, they'll take you somewhere, they'll invite you to an event and then you'll meet people, more people there. This city, you cannot be successful on your own. I know that because I'm super introverted and I can be a loner sometimes, but ultimately I know that the genuine relationships that I've been blessed to make over the years have been what's helped sustain me and keep me grounded and keep me motivated here in LA. Definitely have a sense of independence as well because you know everybody's kind of working on their own thing. You can't come out here and be super dependent to the point where if you know you are waiting around for somebody else to motivate you or inspire you or tell you to write that song or tell you to work on that video. You got to be a self-starter, self-motivator, you got to be independent, you got to be willing to go some places alone um because everybody's gonna be on their own time like yes you're gonna get your tribe you're gonna find your tribe when you get here and you're gonna have your friends who are gonna support you and all that eventually over time but like i said everybody's kind of doing their own thing so if you don't have that sense of independence you're gonna feel lost i think it's also important to be okay with spending time alone because in this city um especially in la but just in life I think this is a good tool to have is the ability to self-reflect um, and just be on one accord with who you are where you are emotionally financially spiritually this city is filled with a lot that you can get into a lot and that's a good thing and a bad thing there are people who come here and they lose themselves because of what LA can offer you there's so much everything i know if you haven't seen my video on the seven things that i love about living in la there's a lot that's tangible here a lot that we grow up seeing on tv and in movies that we can see right in our backyard and if you're not emotionally and spiritually grounded in who you are and willing to take some time to just disconnect and spend some time with yourself and self-reflect on you know where you are emotionally as you're going through this journey of being here you can lose yourself very quickly you can get caught up with the wrong crowds because just like there's a lot of good people here there's a lot of people who are not necessarily in the best place so caught up in the rat race of you know being the best of the best and, and hanging with the best people and most popular people i should say um being at all the hot spots in la and you could really lose yourself um getting so caught up trying to quote unquote make it is what they basically say in the city um you gotta be okay with spending some time by yourself because if you're constantly around people you, you might not even realize that you have the wrong people around you you might not even realize that you're on you've kind of you know got a little distracted from what your vision and your main goal is know yourself that's how you make it in la knowing who you are what's important to you your values your worth know yourself know your weaknesses know your strengths because there's some weaknesses you can work on and you can improve there's some strengths you can improve. And I think when you know those things, invest in those things, and you're taking time to, you know, just be an all around healthy person and invest in those, you'll be fine, you know, because you know, you know, all right, like I got a problem with shopping too much, but you know, I'm, I'm working gig to gig right now. So I need, I need to know that I can't shop right now because if I, shop too much right now knowing that i'm living gig to gig i might not have enough money for my rent and if i don't have enough money for my rent i'm gonna get evicted and if i get evicted guess where i'm going home back to where you came from there's so many things that i want to show you guys i'm just like so excited about the things that i've been blessed to learn while i've been here and the experiences i've had and, and people that have come in my life and taught me things it's my responsibility to share that as well and this is really what this channel is about so there's really i know you guys probably see like you know like some days you do muck things like there's i'm still working on finding a consistent um theme for my channel but i don't want to cut myself short because i feel like my biggest mission is to share and to teach you guys what i've learned so that you can live the best 
most enjoyable light possible. That's really the purpose of this channel. So while I figure out the kinks on how I actually present that to you guys, hopefully you guys are getting something from these videos and you're learning some things. And if you have any ideas, if you're curious about anything that I might not be thinking of, whether if it's life, relationships, um, I don't know, anything, high school, middle school, college, um, making it in, in LA, working in the arts and entertainment industry, working in corporate, hygiene, if it's beauty, anything, let me know. You guys comment below what you guys would be interested in seeing me talk about. But yeah, um, that's really all I had. I hope this was helpful. Like I said, I can do another video on like more practical things that I've actually done, like different gigs that I know, secret little side hustles that I found in LA that like anybody can do to kind of like, you know, just make money to help keep themselves afloat. Um, but yeah, if you like this video, please give it two thumbs up. Um, comment below, like, what city would you love to live in? Maybe it's not LA, maybe it's another city, maybe it's another place in the world, maybe it's another country. Comment below where your dream city is to live in and why. If you have any questions, any specific questions, um, if you're planning on moving to LA or to another city, definitely hit me up. My email's in the description box, my socials are in the description box. Um, I'm open, willing to answer any of your questions and I'm here to help. Thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you guys in the next one. Cause that's the only way to get by, baby. Because